Who says work can't be fun? Not this Super Cobra Jet Ranchero. Ford hit a home run in 57 when they launched the Ranchero, and it immediately became very popular with businesses and individuals alike. And we're just happy that a few seriously high-performance versions slipped out over the years, like this 1970 model, which has a 429 Super Cobra jet and a drag pack. What was intended to be a utilitarian personalized pick-em-up truck sometimes ended up being the hottest car on the street. And while high-performance Rancheros were nothing new in 1970, as evidenced by the factory 312 supercharged 57 ranch burner we showed in episode 15, or the blue 68 Cobra Jet from episode 79, this one is probably the highest of the high-po Rancheros. 1970 Rancheros are largely similar to Torino's, save for the bed box in place of a set of doors or a fastback roof line. Up front, they all share the same sheet metal and suspension, so it only makes sense that the hottest Torino performance engines, well, they fit right in. In this case, we're looking at the 385 series 429 Super Cobra Jet in all of its ram air and drag pack glory. The super part of the package actually starts out back with a 391 or 430 rear gear. These cogs ended up spinning the engine faster at high speed, so Ford beefed up these versions with a 4-bolt block, forged 11.3 to 1 compression pistons, bigger valves, a solid lifter camshaft, and a Holley carburetor breathing through the functional Cobra Jet shaker scoop. The giveaway is the finned oil cooler mounted on the radiator core support, which helped keep the 429's guts happy at high RPM. And the result is a factory rating of 375 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque, all going through the top loader four-speed and up in tire smoke out back. The 429 Super Cobra jet engine is one of the coolest looking plants of the era with aluminum finned valve covers and the sinister finned shaker scoop. And it all plays into the sharp styling of the 70 Ranchero GT. Ours is dipped in dark ivy green and the full width egg crate grill awakens to reveal hidden headlights. The lines are crisp with a set of gills on the lower quarters just below the GT emblems and a discreet 429 badge way down low on the fender. Styled steel wheels wrapped in raised white letter tires provide contact for the GT suspension which added performance springs, shocks and a sway bar. Front power disc brakes and power steering make it easier to handle for the driver. One of the benefits of a car like this is that if you get caught in the action, so to speak, it's real easy to blame the Camaro you just beat as the one that was actually speeding. Who, me? Doing what? In this? You kidding? You better have your load strapped down tightly if you're hauling the goods in this Super Cobra Jet Ranchero. Or maybe just wait till after work to go mop the streets with the competition. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Muscle Car of the Week. We'll go through the Brothers Collection to try and find another cool car to share next time on Muscle Car of the Week. <laughs>